what is up you guys i'm back with another halloween tutorial um yeah this look is actually kind of crazy i got inspiration from this photo from snow white and i had this idea to um do something really cool with it kind of like um snow white is getting the poison apple on her so i'm starting out um using my nyx um lip liner pencil actually and you can see earlier that I messed up so I just kind of wiped it away the nice thing about using like a nude lip liner is that you can just literally wipe it off and you're good it just goes right away and blends right in so I'm just gonna um, outline the entire um, reference photo of like the skull um, and yeah you'll see me like a million times like go in and like erase things and then re do them so that way I feel good about them and I actually forgot I needed to shave so yeah that's why I stopped and why I'm shaved now and look like a naked mole rat and have the drips all over the rest of my face so I'm going in with um, this Mehron Paradise Paint in red and this is actually a mistake that I made I should have put foundation on um, or my skin is showing through first before I did this because you'll see on later that I kind of got the paint like over the foundation which I mean it's not that big of a deal you can kind of like go over and fix it up later but it's just an extra step that takes a lot <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna outline everything with a concealer brush and get all these lines crisp and outline for later and this is when you see I realized what I was doing right about here <laughs> yeah so I'm going in with my foundation on a like fat angled brush I'm just outlining the um, drips and everything where I want it to go and then I'll fill it in with a concealer brush later and I'm using the Lancome um, oh my gosh I always forget the name of it Ultra Wear, I want to say, mixed with uh, a little bit of NARS All Day Luminous because this Lancome foundation isn't my shade right now. So, yeah. And I apparently lost footage, so my face is completely covered in the red and the foundation's done. And now I'm just going in with, um, I believe this is Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's like a, like a maroonish kind of shade. It's like a red violet like shadow and I just initially went with, with this as like my transition color between the red and the other colors I'm gonna go in with later and something that's kind of important is to kind of um, follow your natural contours as much as you can with this because it'll kind of make the mask look like it's tight like on your face not just like a thick glob if that makes sense I don't know but yeah, I'm just kind of like contouring with this and just starting out um, the blend. So I'm gonna go in with a deeper red shade in a minute. And there it is. Um, this is the Kat Von D Movie De Loca Remix palette. It's limited edition, but if you have like a dark red eyeshadow, you'll be fine. So I'm just kind of filling in the drips with this to give them a little bit more dimension and depth. That way they don't look so two dimensional. And then I'm kind of keeping that closer to the edges. And then I'm taking the black from that palette and I'm getting real close to the edge with this. And I'll lay it down and then I'll go in and buff it out a little bit with the brush and then I'll take the other brush that I was using earlier and buff it out even more so it's really smooth and blended. And then in the drips like these, I kind of did like a little J shape. I did like J's and C's. I mean, this helps give the droplets like a three-dimensional look. 
to them. If you have a hard time like visualizing this or like if this doesn't help, I just looked at um, a reference photo of like droplets, like cartoon droplets, and it kind of helps um, me figure out like the shading for all of this. But I'm kind of keeping um, the shading more so on the outer edges. Keeping it up a little bit more because it wasn't dark enough. Blank it out. All that jazz. And you can see right there, there's like a little J shape that really helped me with all of this. Taking that around the eye sockets. I kind of kept this more so on the bottom of the eye socket. Um, I don't know why I did that. I just, I don't know, it felt right. Um, and just blending that out. And this is like a little bit more of a fluffier brush that I'm using to really buff out all that black so it blends into the reds earlier. And I think I used some of that red earlier from the Cal Von D palette. Um, to really help buff it out. And then here I'm like doing some detail work with the drip like holes around my mouth. Um, add more dimension to them so they look a little more 3D. And now I just took the black and I'm using this like to deepen up my contour and add more depth to the look because I felt like the forehead was looking flat. Um, and now I'm going with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I use it on my face and I noticed I was getting paint on like the pencil so then I tried just using the pencil like rubbing it on the back of my hand and then using my finger and it didn't really like do what I wanted it to so I went back in anyways and um, just applied it directly to my face but these are gonna be our highlights so it's gonna cause certain areas of the face to pop out and it actually has a lot of interest and kind of gives like since this would be wet if it's like a candy apple it kind of gives it more of like a shine and um, I noticed too like on the drips right now with what I'm doing it added um, more like a three-dimensional look to the drips so I'm just putting that on the top of those little holes I made earlier add some little highlights I believe, yeah, so this is where you kind of can see, I'm kind of putting the highlights for this on the opposite side of where I put the black, because then it kind of rounds out the um, drips that we made and gives them more of a 3D texture. So now I'm using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I just like took it out of the little box thing and I'm just putting this underneath the drips so it looks like it's on top of my skin and I'm just kind of messily blending this out. This part doesn't have to be completely perfect because it's just our transition color. And then I'm putting that also in the holes on the top part because that would cast a shadow downwards if it was dripping. And then same thing with the nose, poking out more so on the top and then the eye sockets as well and I really focused um, a lot of depth on the inner side of like underneath my brow on this and that's um, Anastasia single shadow in the shade smoked that I'm using and I'm just deepening everything up with this before I go in with um, black later and I'm just putting that 
underneath the drips. Now I'm singing to God knows what and looking like an idiot. And buffing that out more. I think I actually used black. Yeah, I was using black at this point. point. I'm just buffing that out. So now I'm going with the white paradise paint from Mayron. And I'm gonna highlight more with this. The reason I went in with this opposed to the milk pencil is because I can get more precise highlights with this. Um, and since it's water activated, when it's still wet, you can tap it out and it'll blend out just like it did there. But I feel like this really added a lot to the look and it gave it more of like a painted effect, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there you can see the little like, I mean, that looks like an L, but it's kind of like a J shape. I'm just putting that on and blending it out and then adding a little bit more highlight to brighten it up a little bit. And now I'm going with a black gel liner and some of the drips I like outlined completely and then I kind of didn't like that. So I kind of kept it um, just like in the deepest parts, um, as you can see here. And I kind of like that because it looked like not super outlined. Like it looked defined, but not like cartoonish, if that makes any sense at all. And I took that inside the little drip holes too. And I think I lost footage of me doing this, but um, I actually took the black from that palette again and just um, buffed out the gel liner and smoked it out so it, um, transitioned and looked more three-dimensional inside these drips and under the drips on the face. So I'm going in with this Anastasia palette. I'm just using the shade Morocco. Um, I'm just putting that in my crease and then I'm taking a more dense brush and putting that on my lower lash line and outer V area because I really want this to be like super smoky and kind of cat-like. And I'm taking Fudge and um, putting that in the outer V. You don't have to have this palette. I know that Anastasia actually sells these shadows individually. So yeah, I'm just using Fudge and Morocco for this look. And this eye look is actually really simple. It's just these two colors and then a separate color, which is soft peach right here for the lid. But you can use any like cream matte shade. And then I'm just deepening and transitioning that Morocco shade again, and then taking some gel liner and putting that on my lash line so the falsies will blend in better later. And that's basically the entire eye look, like it's super simple. And now I'm just putting on some Lily Lashes, oh gosh, uh, Lily Lashes in the style Miami for this look in particular, because I wanted it to be super simple on the eyes, I didn't want to be super dramatic. And these lashes are so gorgeous. And then I realized my eyebrows looked really stupid. So, I mean, I should have gone in with like a black or something or like a super dark brown for my eyebrows, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just filling that in. And then I went in and fixed um, the nose heart because it was looking really weird. I don't know why I was orange. Now I'm throwing on my wig. This is from Powder Room D. It's just, um, I think it's in the style Sultry, I wanna say. It's just a long black wig and it looks like a mess. So I'm gonna brush it out and make her look pretty and sleek and that's the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And yeah, happy Halloween, guys. Bye.